Good morning, lovers. Welcome to Lovers Lane Tarot. I'm Miss Kelly, and I'm coming to you with your energy read. Let's see what's going on with you, Libras. Justice, balance, the scales. Thank you guys so much for like, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. It's really appreciated. All right. Good angels and guys, please guide us through this message. Archangel Michael, please protect this message and protect those who are here to hear this message by providing love and light to them through any trials and tribulations that they may be going through at this time. Namaste. going on with you and your labor. So right now, I see we have, we could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, Gemini had this don't dig up old wounds. Um, I feel like there's someone who wants you and them to move on to um, karma waters, but I feel like this person feels like you may not be up for that. Um, I feel like someone feels like that maybe too much damage has been done in this connection in order for you all to be able to move on. Ruthless, having or showing no pity or compassion for others. So someone could view you or you could view this person as being very ruthless. Um, they don't show you any type of compassion. They don't have pity for people when they're going through things. Um, it's like it's a me, me, me. It's all about them, what they're going through, what they're dealing with. Um, and I feel like, uh, I don't know why I just feel this energy. You're like, I'm just, I'm getting really tired of this. Like, I keep trying to figure out ways to, um, make this situation work, but it's not working. Um, Controlling behavior, including giving unwanted advice, ordering or withholding money for affordable expenses in order to control. Differences in sex drives and desires. So I feel like you and this person, um, this person can come off very controlling. Um, they may give you advice when you're not really asking for it. Um, if you don't take their advice, I feel like they could get really upset. Um, there could be some issues going on with a child. Um, he will leave you too. It's in his name. It's in his nature to have several women. So whomever this person is, they're feeling like this person. Um, they will leave you because they have a lot of options. This person is not the type of person that's going to settle down. Um, this person is also vengeful. This person is the type of person, um, again, here with ruthless, with ruthless and revenge. This person can be very, very spiteful. Um, you know, they'll say that they forgive you for something, but it's just so... You all can no longer have the conversation anymore. Um, but in the back of their mind, oh, they're going to get you back. Denial, refusal. Denial and refusal, failure to acknowledge. I'm not believing this. The action of declaring something to be untrue. So this person could deny the fact that you may not be um, sexually attracted to them. Um, this person may feel that you still want them in that way. And I feel like for some of you, you don't feel this way towards this person. Broken heart. My heart is broken over this situation. So, um, for those of you who are dealing with a, um, dealing with a child or a child's mother, um, it's like you're feeling like, you know, I, yeah, I feel like some, like someone was being greedy. Um, someone could have gone out and had an extramarital affair and 
We have greed, intense and selfish desire for something, especially wealth, power, or food. Gold digger, money hungry. Someone could have been really money hungry. Um, and, you know, they feel like, oh, okay, well, you know, I, and I also feel like this may be someone that your person may not feel like that they've, uh, that they could have nabbed this person. Yeah. Um, I feel like someone I feel like is showing you that they have options. That, um, you know, they could have multiple people that they're dealing with and talking to. Um, and you have a deep knowing of this. Wow, look at this. You have a deep knowing that things are changing between you and this person. Um, I feel like as well, you're starting to accept yourself more. You're not looking for any type of validation from this person. Self-acceptance being received is adequate or suitable. So I feel like you are not going to continue to deal with this situation, Libra. Is what I feel. We have, bitch, I'm not dealing with this. A difficult or unpleasant situation. So I feel like you and this person constantly go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with the same issues, same arguments, same drama, same bullshit. Um, and I feel like, um, you know, somebody could tell you that they're in a lot of mental confusion. Um, he's a cheater, but I still love him. Do you want a cheater? So it's like this person is trying to ask you, like, I know what this person does. They're not going to just be with you. Um, this person is going to cheat on you too. Like, this is just what they do. Um, and this could be male or female, okay? Because it's masculine and feminine, you know, it's energy. Granted, the cards say woman, but, you know, take your story how it resonates. So sex kitten night worker he's not my man either so this person could be the type of person that goes out at night um does things at night that you may not uh know about um instagram groupie attention seeker ego driven so this person could be on instagram they could be on uh, have our own fans account that maybe you don't know anything about um and it's not to me just about Instagram. This person as well. It could be WhatsApp. It could be different uh, platforms. But I feel like this person. Um, oh. This person may have no job. Or some of you may not have a job. Someone may see you as a deadbeat. Um. They look at you as child support and look at this here. Whomever this is, you have a lot of history with this person. Um, so that's why I say for some of you, this is about a marriage or... Um, this is about a marriage or this is about just some outside affair that could have happened. Um, you guys may have worked it out. But there's still that doubt. There's still the conflict. There's still the problems. And I feel like you and your person, your person feels that you are, um, that you are moving away. Um, I feel like you feel like this person has fake friends. Yeah, look, fake friends came out twice. You feel like this person has fake friends. Like, um, they're not really interested in each other or what each other have going on. They may hang out, go out together, things like that. But I feel like this person, um, you feel like this person has fake friends. Or this person can feel like you have fake friends. Take the energy and take your story how it resonates. And a divine feminine. So you see this person as a divine feminine, but this divine feminine may have some sort of porn addiction. Um, they may do money spells. Um, you can look at this person as being kind of selfish and moody. Um, 
more bottles of Divine Feminine. And this person could not be, they may not be interested in sex right now. Um, this person, I feel like, um, that may be why they watch porn so much. They're, they're absent that they are having sex. Um, judgment, but judgment is in the reverse. Um, I don't like taking cards that fall on the floor. Um, but this person, that's why I feel like this person may want porn the way that they do. Argumentative, never wrong. So this person, they are, they feel like they're never wrong. They feel like they have all the answers. They know it all. You can't tell them anything, but they're supposed to listen to you. Um, I mean, you're supposed to listen to them. Well, we have another woman. Um, but I feel like this person feels like that there's another woman or another man around. Um, I feel like they feel your energy is moving away from them in some sort of way, or their energy may be moving away from you. Um, mm. For some of you, someone may be going to jail or maybe getting arrested. Night worker. So this person, oh, I don't know what this night walk worker is about. So this person could work at night. Um, oh, someone could have contracted an STD. Um, someone feels like a clown because I feel like whoever it was, you went out of your way. Um, and the, this STD, it could be an actual STD, or this could be that this person was just infecting you. Um, with a lot of their stuff. Um, I feel like you, this person you're dealing with could be a witch or a high priestess. Um, someone who can see things before they happen. Um, but they come off, I feel like, to you like they want a commitment with you forever. Um, or a then it says commitment forever. Like I said, this could be a marriage. So um, a lot of this message could be for those who are in a relationship. Um, I feel like you want to leave the past in the past. Um, this person feels like they can have anything they want. They can get anyone they want. Um, let's see here. Mm. Look at this. So this is definitely a common partner. Um, this common partner, this person could be a party girl. This person could have very toxic friends and family. Um, and I feel like with you, you are just like, okay. What do I need to do now? Then we have the, the other woman. So you have someone, there is someone else, another woman, another man in the picture. Um, this person is very materialistic. This person could also be a tarot reader. And again, look at this. So you're definitely dealing with a high priestess. You feel like this person could be very materialistic. This person is a reader. This person is a high priestess. Okay. Those, those came out together. Um, someone soon may need to, um, someone again with no job, need a job. Um, someone could be comparing things a lot, you know, my car is better than yours, and this, that, and the third. Um, GPS tracking. So, someone could be tracking your phone, or someone could be tracking your movements, snooping through emails, background checks, like. Somebody is really going out of their way to do some work, like to find out information about you. So be very careful with your phone. Um, if you're getting like spam messages, spam emails, like this person could have hacked your, your network, is what I'm saying. With all these computers and then your cell phone, this person could have hacked your phone and your network. Mm, did not say it. Then I say a lot. This is a message for a lot of you all who are married. Um, of course, this could be for you. You don't have to be married. You could be single. You could just be in a long-term relationship. But like I said, for 
a lot of you, I feel like someone went outside of the marriage and it caused some sort of problems. Um, I feel like some, you know, a lot of you could be going through marriage counseling. Um, a lot of you could have picked up the habit of smoking marijuana. Um, but someone is wearing a false mask. Someone is not showing you exactly who they are. They play a lot of games. Um, and this may be this person's love language, but I feel like soon you and this person, either you're going to receive a message from them or concerning them, or they're going to receive it, some information concerning you. Um, yeah, in a family situation. I feel like you can, you could be getting ready to tell someone that you um, was going through a divorce and it was just a lot of toxicity around you. Um, or this person could have went through a divorce and there was a lot of toxicity with that. And this person could have not bounced back from it. And we had judgment come out. Um, this person, again, I feel like, you know, them them being on drugs or taking and drugs, it could be marijuana. It don't have to be anything super heavy. Um, we saw marijuana come up. But I feel like this influences this per a lot of this person's decisions that they make. Yeah. When they for this party thing, so they they normally uh, take a lot of they do their drugs when they're partying. So it seems like that this person needs to um, slow up on the partying in order for them to detox and get themselves back to um, back to normal. Yeah. So someone could have blocked you on social media. They could use this. Look at this. Did I say that? Marriage. Someone you know. Okay? So, someone could be doing love spells in order to bring you towards them. But this person feels like you blocked them in some sort of way. Or either they blocked you in some sort of way. In order, But you have the receipts. I feel like whatever it was that you was looking for, regardless of whether this person may have blocked you now. Um, yeah. Look, marriage came out in the reverse. So I feel like for some of you, if you did divorce, this caused a lot of um, this cost. This cost you financially as well. It didn't just cost you in a sense of um, you know just your marriage alone. This cost you financially. Um, Let's get some tarot and see what's going on. This caused you, yeah, this caused you a big loss financially when it came to um, dealing with this person. Like, I feel like you, for some of you, you regret ever dealing with this person. Um, you could have thought this person was something totally different than what they actually are. Um, and I feel like you're like, look, I don't, this is not what I signed up for. This is not what I thought it was. Let's leave our overall energy. Oh, okay, Libra. Look at you. Now the pentacles, baby, showing up looking good. The sun. So you could, for some of you Leos, you could be dealing with a, I mean, I said for some of you Leos, for some of you Libras, you could be dealing with a Leo that you feel like, um, this person, for some of you, I feel like, um, you may be feeling like this person may be being intimate with someone else, um, but I also feel like, too, that there's a fear that, um, there's a fear of them moving forward and wanting to accept your offer. You have a lot of love for this person. Um, and we had the King of Pentacles, I mean the King of Cups to show up. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups. So, um, so I feel like you want some sort of clarity. 
after all this confusion. Um, or either you decided that you're going to just get the clarity that you need for yourself. Um, I feel like that you feel like that this person, yeah, that this person will do with it, whatever they have to do to win. Um, if that's to, um, yeah, they know the high priestess in the end. Um, if, even if that's, you know, breaking up your, like, it, and I don't feel like this is them. I mean, no one can break up your family but you, okay? Because you're the one who's married. You're the one. So if you've gone outside of your relationship, yeah, I feel like this person is moving away from things um, like intoxicants and things of that nature. I feel like they are balancing themselves or this could be you either um I'm about to move. um but i feel like you are moving on from this situation or trying to move on to a place where things feel like you are balanced um where you're healing and i feel like you're coming into this place of being really really happy uh we got the king of cups in the reverse so someone could be very um, emotionally manipulative um, with this King of Cups in the reverse. This person could want to come off like they really, did I say, could want to come off like they are really loving, caring, and they care about you. They don't. They don't. This is all about winning for them. Um, hmm. And they want you by any means. Like this person could as well. Um, they could be very selfish. Um, think about what it is that they want, their needs. Um, yeah, they could be very controlling. And this may be things that you don't see uh, right now. Um, you know, this person could focus a lot on work. Um, it may be something that they're working on. Um, I feel like this person wants to offer you some sort of... They want to offer you love. I feel like they are falling in love with you. But it's still a dynamic of, of them that is just like, okay. So, I don't know. We could be going with a masculine feminine for some of you. Um, some of you guys are definitely, you're losing sleep or you're worried that you're not enough um, to take this offer. Um, or this person could feel this way about you. Take it how it resonates. We have a match here. Ooh, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Then we got the King of Swords. Okay. So I feel like this King of Swords is feeling like he needs a time out or this King of Swords is losing sleep over the fact that, you know, you and this person, you all could have had words and the last, these other words, you know, whatever those last words or that last argument was, it's like it keeps replaying in your head, I feel like. Tell me about this Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands. So again, dealing with uh, fire energy. Um, I feel like this person, they can be quite defensive, like they're beautiful, but they, they're very defensive, um, I feel like, in your communication. Um, and then a lot of this is messages. So, you know, I feel like if you and this person, you all talk by message, um, you know, I feel like the communication comes off kind of harsh. Um, and I feel like someone is juggling with the fact that, do I want to, you know, contact them? So we have the page of wands in reverse. So it's like you all are not really communicating at this time. Um, tell me about the chariot. So I feel like you're moving forward. Um, when it, you know, you're planting seeds. I feel like you're waiting to see how this situation is going to play out, but spirit does not want us sitting around waiting on people. Exactly. Spirit does not want us sitting around waiting on people. I mean, if this, if this is an opportunity that this person decided to miss, 
that's on them. I mean, you can't leave it. That's you, the King of Swords. Um, so this Queen of Swords, whoever this, um, either you're dealing with an air sign or you're dealing with a fire sign, this person could have been divorced. Because with this Queen, with them showing up as the Queen of Swords, this is uh, normally a married, widowed person or someone who um, has been divorced, um, has been through a lot in life. But they also come up very passionate, yeah. So I feel like someone is, um, you could be waiting for someone that you're married to to come and visit you. Um, you could be as well turning your back on a marriage, on a relationship. Like someone could have offered you a relationship or marriage and you may not, yeah, look at this. We have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. And I feel like you're not making any effort towards this person. Um, and I feel like this person, again, they're starting to feel like, you know, what is it that I've done to Libra? What is it that I need? What can I do? Why is the nine of swords here? I feel like they want to know what is it can they what is it that they can do to get you to look in their direction exactly to get you to look at them look at them um, in a way that you know you're not necessarily juggling you're not looking for the next best thing page of swords. of cups so there is someone in the background who has love for you Libra. Um, whoever this is this person is quite nurturing quite giving um, but I feel like this person could have walked away from you um, with the six of cups energy this is someone that you know from your past um, but I feel like for you or them you feel like somebody feels like karma was not um, that karma was not just in this situation. Um, I feel like someone knows how to trigger you, um, that they've taken a bit of control over your emotions. Exactly, it's like you you've been through a lot with this person. Um, but I feel like things could possibly move in a more stable direction for you. There could be either new love coming in. Some of these two of cups have priestess. So there could be new love that's coming in towards you. Um, there you go, Libra. That you want to take um, a leap of faith. With the fool card in the world, we have the fool in the world card here. Um, tell me about fool and justice. Ooh, Empress in reverse. So I feel like someone took a leap of faith on someone. Um, and I feel like someone is feeling like they're juggling on whether they want a new beginning with this person want to start a new cycle but with this fool here and then we have the world here that's a completed cycle um justice and so i feel like someone is still juggling with the fact of you know do i do i want this new beginning um why is the empress in the reverse okay so this empress is in the reverse because this empress when they are star, they're going through a transformation after something really traumatic happened to them. So if you're wondering why this person could have been this way, um, this person could have been um, used for sex. This person could have had a sex addiction. They are taking time away from um, having sexual relationships. Hence, we saw that in the um, in the Oracle spread. In the beginning of the reading, look at this. But someone is stuck um, behind the cycle ending. Yeah, the high priest. So I feel like this person is changing their belief system. Um, things that they used to believe to be true about love, relationships, interactions, partnerships, friendships. 
I feel like all of those things um, have changed for them. Yes, they're getting, they're looking at life in a whole new way. Again, then I say this person, they are taking a break when it comes to sexual relationships. They are, they're manifesting right now. They're manifesting a new beginning, I feel. Um, but there is some truth that could be getting ready to come that's going to bring a child, that's going to bring a tower moment um, for some of you. Let's see. What is the outcome? What is the outcome for Libra? What is the outcome for Libra? We have the palace of coins, the devil. So, where there's supposed to be uh, stability, there's a level of toxicity there. Um, look at this temperance, yeah. And this person, I feel like, is trying to grab, bring back the love in their home, is what I'm feeling. Yes, and it's taking strength and courage for them to do so. But I feel like that's where um, this person's focus is. And I feel like that's what Spirit is saying your focus needs to be as well. Um, yeah, with the page of coins, um, I feel like you could want to mend a situation. Um, And just move on. I feel like you, you know, but right now you're not making any moves because I feel like you're trying to decide which way you want to go first. Um, you know, one path could lead you where you're trying to go, and the next path could have you facing judgment for investing in the wrong thing. Yeah. Um, and I feel like you have a fear of having some sort of judgment come down on you if you decide to go ahead with this person yep but i feel like you're going to make a final decision to stay single for now um is the advice that i see you know i feel like someone is trying to keep wearing masks like they're cool with having sex with you but anything outside of that um either this is you or this is your person this person wants to stay single they're enjoying their their free time um, doing things, you know, in the way that they want to do them. Hence, that's where we get the, uh, you know, this person can be a little controlling, they want to control the narrative. Um, they may have balanced their feminine and masculine side, and this person, whoever this feminine is, if it's a feminine, it's like this person, um, it's like this person, um, they tap more into their masculine energy than their feminine energy. And this may be a turn off for you, I feel. All right, let's get a, uh, get some oracle here. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you see this person as beautiful. Um, for some of you, you could be very hesitant on releasing this person, even though your guardian angel is telling you, you need to focus on you, your healing, and even your upkeep, you know what I mean? Like, it's okay, you want to have to release the situation. Yeah, I feel like you just, you're enchanted by this person, or well, this person is enchanted by you. Um, they think you're very beautiful, um, but I feel like... You know, there's some centering that could be taking place that I feel like you're working on yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that, um, Libra. You're surrendering to choose you in this time. Um, I feel like you are no longer, yeah, you're focused on your abundance. And your intuition is on point right now. Um, the high priest is there. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. 
curiosity. So it's like that curiosity killed his cat. Are you willing to open up Pandora's box? Rest it. Or are you going to sit this out? And you going to um, allow yourself to go through the healing that you need to go through. Yes, we have hubris. We have abandonment. Like I said, this person could suffer from abandonment issues. Um, feeling like they're trying to find their place. Yeah. And someone is in denial. Um, someone could be coming off quite desperate right now. When sovereignty is what's needed, you need to stand up for yourself. Um, knowledge. And I feel like you know that this is abuse. Like, you have knowledge that this person can be quite abusive. Or that this person may have been in an abusive situation. Um, I guess I take the energy out. And I feel like you're being delivered from all of this. Like, this person could feel like, oh, this person ain't doing anything. They're not going anywhere. Or you could look at this person like they suffer from some sort of desperation. Nasty knot. Loud and clear. Laser beam all in bunny hop flat baggage be gone so it's like you know that you want this person like you feel like this is baggage or you know you're working or getting rid of baggage and um i feel like you uh I feel like you you know what it is that you need to um, what it is you need to do. You know, you need to complete your healing, you need to work on yourself. And I feel like that's what you're gonna do. I don't feel like you're gonna let uh, things and people stand in your way. What enchanting message do you have? Follow what lights you up, yes. Do what makes you happy. Um Listen to your inner compass. You are capable of brilliant transformation. So keep believing in yourself, Libra, that you are on the right path. You're doing the right thing by focusing on yourself. Listen to your intuitive signals. They are real and will guide you in the right direction. Okay? You have the ability to prosper. Do whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's get a dream message. I'm going to do a dream and an anxiety and an advice. And I have to go, guys. Dream, anxiety, and advice. Instead of making excuses and telling yourself why you can't do it or why it's not possible, ask yourself what if it is possible. Okay? So don't go killing your dream before it gets started. You know what I mean? Um, the negative self-talk. I feel like that's where that nine of swords energy could be coming from. Um, okay. Just breathe. Let things be. Repeat as many times as necessary. So meditation is going to be very helpful for you in this time. Um, Libra is what I feel. Um, let's see when it comes to love. What love messages? When it comes to love, what love messages? Not today. So I feel like when it comes to love, you're just not up for it today. You don't feel like it. You don't want to talk right now. Um, I feel like you're getting ready to start setting boundaries with people. Yeah. Um, you want people who are showing you unconditional love. Like I said, you're loving on yourself right now, I feel. Um, you're choosing yourself. You're choosing to be single. Um, I feel like someone is definitely missing you. Um, 
wanting to possibly start over, but right now I feel like your focus is on you. Keys on a ring. You have options. <laughs> um, I feel like as well, though, someone could be stringing you along as well. Um, someone else could have a lot of options, too. Yeah. Um, but I feel like you are doing the work and healing. Uh, working on your inner child with the butterfly being there. Um, again, like I said, someone was definitely stabbed in the back. Again, you're yeah, focusing on yourself. You have a beautiful reading. You have a beautiful, just some beautiful energy coming into March, um, Libra. You are transforming. It's okay. You're going to miss this person at times. You're going to be thinking about this person at times. But what advice do you have for Libra? Ooh. So we have tell the truth here. And we have compassion for all. Let's see here. What advice do we have for Libra? Confidence. It takes courage to put your butt on the line and go for it. And the best way to strengthen your confidence is to put yourself out there. Who cares what other people think? Everybody starts somewhere and don't worry about making mistakes. You can always course correct. But you'll never know or grow unless you try. And the more you do, the more confident and successful you'll become. When you shine, we are all inspired to do the same. That's what I have for you. It's about confidence. You believe in yourself this month, Libra, and that you can accomplish whatever goals um, when it comes to relationships, your uh, finances, whatever it is. Just if you have to exude that confidence and you're going to just naturally start seeing yourself do it because you are going through your transformation. So just allow it to happen. I hope these messages brought you some sort of clarity. Um, and I hope that they were very useful to you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Um, as well as go over to My Nutrition, uh, My Nutritious Earth, um, Miss Akila. She is a Reiki healer. She um, specializes in nutrition and natural herbs and health. Um, as well as Simply Love Tarot. She's amazing. Um, she's all about unity, bringing people together, getting the messages out there, and just being clear and transparent. And that's what we want in our lives, more people who are transparent. So um, let's find our tribe and let's, let's build our tribe, people. And I wish you guys the best day ever and the best month, the best March ever. And I will see you guys in the next week. Peace.